Hi, I'm Naveed from FRC Game Sense, and I'm going to show you how to use some of the features of the new FRC District Ranking System website. To go there, simply type in the site address, district.firstwa.org. This is the home page, where you can see any site notifications and districts. Down here, you can see available district rankings. This year, it's just the Pacific Northwest. You can either click on this, or go to the rankings page, and select the districts there. Here, you'll be able to see the live rankings even during events. It shows a team's current points, team number, and name, and individual event scores. You can hover over an event, and it will pop up with the event name. Or, you can click on that to view more about that team's performance at a specific event. You can also see a team's current status for district championships or world champs, and if they have declined or not. The key is at the bottom. An S means schedule to play an upcoming event, IP, event in progress, and DI, declined invitation to an event. You can also see a team's rookie bonus here. By hovering over the points, a pop-up will show you the team's rookie year. Let's check out a team page. By clicking on the team, you can see the breakdown of the score for the event. And below, the match results, alliance selection results, elimination performance, and awards. It will show all events for said team, as well as the rookie bonus again at the bottom. Let's take a look at an event page. Here, you can view an event's entire results. This includes rankings, awards, alliance selection, qualification, and elimination match results. On the scoring page, you can review the point system and see a breakdown of each type as well as the tie-breaking system. It also provides information on how a team qualifies for the district championship and the world championship. That's about all. If you have any questions or corrections, see the contact page. The website has seen a lot of updates and added features over the course of the season, and they're constantly working to improve it. It works great in any browser as well as on mobile devices. Make sure to send any questions or corrections to the development team. Hopefully this site will be coming to a district near you soon.